This is the Transformers Generations Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Axel Grease, a female Junkion that has joined the ranks of the Decepticons. That should be interesting. I'm not sure if I've heard of this character or if it's a brand new character they've made for the line. Did she appear in the comic books or some other cartoon I'm not aware of? Please let me know in the comment section who this character really is because she's very new to me. I picked up this figure from Robo Robo, but she does look cool and interesting. Let's get her out of packaging. And here is Axel Grease out of the box, and she looks amazing. It's a terrific redeco retool of an already amazing mold. Now, I say this to a lot of figures, a lot of repaints and redecos that they're just great. Well, Probably because I'm the biggest sucker for Hasbro and Takara Tomy's redecos and repaints. But really, this is an amazing, amazing take and, 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 and redo of an already amazing mold. The, the colors are amazing. The sculpt is great. She's got new accessories, a brand new head sculpt. And overall, I, I love how this repaint and redeco turned out. Let's take a closer look at the details of this new Decepticon Junkion Axle Grease. Head to toe, the figure stands at about 13 and 1 4th centimeters tall or about 5 and 1 4th inches tall. For comparisons, here she is with other Junkions in the Legacy line. We've got Toe Line right here and the original mold, original version of the mold, we've got Scrap Hook. And it is really refreshing uh, to see not another a tow truck but rather a souped up hot rod as a Junkion. So the figure comes with a slew of accessories, some old and some new. You've got the uh, exhaust ports, which are relatively old and staple for this mold. So you can put them right there. Uh, he's got the, uh, he's got a hook, but no towing arm or towing crane. So that's interesting. Uh, she's got the, uh, these are blaster pistols, individual blaster pistols that combine. They also form the manifold, the engine manifold in, in, in car mode or truck mode, but they do combine to form a double-barreled pistol, or you can have them separately and she can hold either pistol on both hands, on either hand. And then she comes with these two blasters, which is actually cool. I do prefer this over the spike shield or the towing arm. Uh, you can actually put them here on, on her forearm. You can put one right here. But the other one, you can actually attach the hook and she's got a hook claw weapon. Or you can have her hand made like a hook. So I thought that was pretty cool. I think that 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 kind of addition just makes you want this figure more. I mean, it's it's. I know it's the same figure, it's the same mold, but the the new weapons. I don't know. They kind of make a difference for me. So going to the figure itself, the details. Look at the colors. I mean, she's got some kool-aid grape juice purple right here on the thighs and the forearms it's a it's a really nice grape purple and the blue plastic they used uh, on her other bits there's it's like a nice navy blue blueberry type of compote blue it it just feels like she's she's like jello or a uh, a cheesecake a berry cheesecake uh, with some chocolate. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just thinking of food right now. But look at this. I, I mean, really, the, col the color combination is just so yummy on, on this figure. I mean, she's got gunmetal gray bits right here. She's got this uh, really glossy dark gray uh, pieces here and there. Some periwinkle, uh, bluish periwinkle pieces here. The wheels, I mean, come on. I on Honestly, I thought it was going to turn out corny, but... It just turned out great. The color combinations couldn't have been more perfect. Now, she's got a brand new uh, chest. Uh, it, it's sporting that Decepticon logo. You can see right here, it does kind of give it a more feminine vibe. Uh, I do like it. I, I love the silver on, on the blueberry or the, uh, the grape uh, colored plastic. And she's got this really new head sculpt, which I thought was pretty amazing. Ah, uh, man, not, not your typical female head sculpt mold, but I do like it. Uh, it feels like she's very tough. She's like Mad Max, Fury Road type of, uh, of head sculpt. So yeah, very cool. As far as paint apps go, hardly any quality issues, that I, at least on my copy. 
So I thought that was pretty cool. Also, the main issue with this mold is really these elbows. It's, it's on a friction joint and it tends to pop off every time you rotate uh, that, that bicep swivel. So on this one, it's still loose, but, but they've kind of fixed it. It doesn't pop off as much. Same thing on this side. Uh, still loose, but it stays on. So I guess that's an improvement. So in terms of mold degradation, uh, yes, the looseness is still there. But there are a lot of tight joints like this one. It's a tight peg hole. Uh, the hinges are still pretty tight on this one. You can still pop off the limbs. And these can actually combine with other uh, Transformers, other legacy figures. So that, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's what this kind of figure is for. Uh, but more so, you can still transform her uh, without removing these pieces. So speaking of transformation, let's just uh, put them off to the side. And then these pieces right here, they're going to swap places and come up here. I mean, for those, go ahead and just fold the feet like this. The arms, uh, you're going to rotate this way, rotate the fist this way. And same thing here, rotate and then rotate. Go ahead and open this up, rotate the waist, go ahead and unpeg the shoulders, fold these pieces right here, fold down that head, neck piece, and then it's going to combine right here. The legs are going to combine and join together. This thing folds right here, closes up on the thigh. And then this piece right here is going to fold like this, you're going to rotate the arms like this, Go ahead and fold the shoulder or inside inward like this. Just give a little bit of space for the forearms to come in and tab. Same thing here. Just and okay. Tidy things up. And then the weapons, like I said, the engine manifold. Sticks, sticks up like that. Feels like a hot rod, definitely. These rear pieces bind them, put them together, and then they, they form the thrusters. And then the hook, instructions say to just plug it here in one of the thrusters, but I think it's best if you plug it right here. So it's like a, a hitch. There is Axel Grease in her souped up, battle ready hot rod. And it feels like it's more because of the that the sloping rear window that's part of the cannon, it doesn't feel like a tow truck. It feels like a Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, Fury Road type of car, death race type of car that will just decimate all the Autobots. For comparisons in alt mode, here she is with the uh, Mater and the Mystery Machine. And you can clearly see she's no longer a pickup truck. Uh, and there's a lot of differences I neglected to mention. Look at the roof, the windshield, the windows. It's a brand new sculpt right here. Obviously, the weapons form the rear end. Uh, the rear fenders, the wheels, and the side doors, they're basically the same. But the hood, they've also changed it. Obviously, the manifold's been changed. And the grill, look at that. She's got a brand new set of headlamps and a new grill and ram, battering ram, I should say. So, yeah. Everything else seems to be the same. The rear end, same. Yeah, but obviously this one's been changed. So lots of retooling for a, uh, a redecoed Junkion. Not bad, not bad at all. For her Evo Fusion uh, feature or gimmick, it says she does have the Evo Fusion with a crash bar. And what you do is you remove this front section right here. And then you split it together with the weapon. And then you just come over here to crash bar. And it it fits, it should fit over that weapon. So it should fit to form like a like a double sidecar. Or does it does it turn him into a trike? It turns crash bar into a three-wheeler or something like that. I, I don't know, but it does look cool as a gimmick. And so some final thoughts on this Legacy Evolution Axel Grease. I think it's a terrific redeco and repurpose of the Junkion mold. 
I didn't expect it to be this good. And it's a cool concept to have a female Junkion also turn to the dark side and side with the Decepticons. Uh, the new weapons are terrific. The new head sculpt is great. The remolded legs, remolded roof part, and that new head sculpt, new chest, all makes for a good redeco and retool of an already amazing mold. So Hasbro and Tucker told me finding ways for you to double dip, triple dip into their mold. Buy and buy the, keep buying the same figure over and over just with different colors and different accessories and all that. And uh, yes, uh, consider me suckered into getting another repaint or redeco, but I think this one's well worth it. Uh, great colors, everything's great about this redeco. It feels like they really planned for it, and there was a lot of research, and there's a lot of design uh, that went into this, and uh, I, I do want to commend and give credit to the designers at Hasbro and Takara Tomy. This figure is going to get a... I'm going to give it a 10. I'm just so pleased with it. It gets a 10 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Junkion, Decepticon Junkion Axle Grease. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.